welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you all my curly hair products. And this is just what I use for curly hair. This isn't straight hair. This isn't a daily routine. These are just the products that I like to use. So let's get started. In the shower, I like to use, and this is one of my all time um, favorite conditioners that I like to use. You get a ton of it. It's worth the money and it's not really expensive is this Garnet. Um, and this is the Triple Nutrition. This is my conditioner that I use to get um, my snarls and everything out. This is what I detangle my hair with in the shower. And this is a huge bottle. I don't know if you can see that. Huge, huge, huge bottle. And what is this? Six dollars. I mean, it's really inexpensive and it's got the push top or the pump top really inexpensive and this is one of my favorites this is my go-to conditioner that I always use so my co-wash that I like to use while I'm in the shower detangling my hair is this Pantene gold series love it this is the deep hydrating co-wash and it's pro V and it's infused with argon oil this is what I use to co-wash my hair with. Um, a little goes a long ways, but I do wash my hair um, twice, you know, like each section, twice with this. So my next product that I really like, you guys, is my Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Marfera Oil Intensifying Hydration Hair Mask. I really like this one a lot mm. and it smells so good and that's what it looks like it's real thick your hair actually smells like this when you're all done it's a great smell kind of fruity and woodsy at the same time I love this one this is my go-to one this is the Shea Moisture Intensive Hydration Hair Mask okay my next deep condition one I really like also, and this is Ultra Rich Moisture Mac Macadamia Professional. And I really like this one too. I only have a little bottle of this. There's a glare, sorry, with my lighting. Sorry, you guys. I'm so sorry for that. And um, this one is... Um, it's for textured hair, very coarse, and you, um, for coiled, it's hydrate, repair, strengthen, and it's free of sulfates, parabens, and gluten, and it's color safe, and it's, um, not been tested on animals. Take a drink of my tea. Mm. It's my apple cider tea. I love it, you guys. Okay. My next thing that I really like is my Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Anti-Frizz Max Hold Gel with Silk Protein and Neem Oil. It's for thick, curly hair. They used to have another one that I really liked and they got rid of it and now they have this one and this one has incredible slip, you guys. Incredible. It's almost gone. so. I really can't show you what it's about, but you can see it there. This is my new, new favorite one. That's how the top looks. And I don't mind this new one. I kind of like this one too. This is the Camille Rose Naturals, and this is the Curl Maker. This one I also like. It really has a nice slip to it too. And this is with marshmallow and agave leaf extract. It loves all curls, coils, and textures. This is a really nice gel also. It doesn't get as crunchy as my other one. My other one kind of stays crunchy and for a longer hold. And my curls stay longer. Like this is two weeks. And see how they're still really well hydrated. This is two week curls. This last... um for my curls a long time but it doesn't keep them exactly that long but i really like this product and sorry you guys i always like to keep a nice um water bottle make sure you have a good water water bottle so in between when your hair gets a little drier and you just want to freshen up your curls always use your water bottle to spray 
in between. So I always keep one of those on hand. Okay, for my leave-in conditioners, this one is by Earth's Nectar, and this is hair care, and this is Nourish Conditioning Detangle um, with Pure Aloe. This one I love. Let me smell. I can't remember. Mm. It has a light fruity, kind of like a coconutty smell. There's another one that they make that I like also. Um, I like Earth Nectar stuff. You can get this online, but you go to Sephora and then put this in on um, on their on the on the site on Sephora, and that's where you can get it. You can't buy it in Sephora in the stores, but if you're online. Go on to um, Sephora.com and put this in and you can get it that way or just, you know, Google it and you can find it. I think Amazon may also carry it and it's Earth's Nectar and this one has a pump, but you want to make sure you get this one. This is my all to go to leave-in conditioner. And I really like this one too, you guys. This is Silk Elements. And this is the Renourish Jehovah Oil Leave-In Conditioner with Biotin and Silk. Um, this is for relaxed and natural for weak and over-processed hair. Um, this helps with protecting and will help nourish and it helps with breakage. This one I really like too. This one was rec recommended to me when I went to the beauty supply store. I really like this one. It's halfway gone. And sometimes what I do, you guys, I kind of mix it with my Earth's Nectar. I just put a little bit in, shake it up with a little water, and kind of mix them sometimes. I like to do that. Now, for my um, treatments, sorry, you guys, Piper. <laughs> for my treatments afterwards, or in between, I like to use the Shea Moisture's 100% Pure Jamaican Black Castor Oil. And this one is head to toe. You can use it for your whole body. It's really thick and it has a little pump. I wonder if I can show you how thick. Like, it is super thick. And it goes in pretty light. It's hard to do it with paper on my lap. And it smells like castor oil, you know. It's... Get it in my hair and then it just disappears um it is a little greasy so i like to put it on for the day and then put my hair up in a bun um and so it doesn't get all over everything and it kind of gets on my glasses once it's in my hair and it's really for your um scalp too so just massage it in and get it on your scalp but i like to use it in my hair just follow the directions that are on the bottle castor oil and whatever castor oil you like to use and then I have a product that I keep in a bag because if it falls over it gets pretty oily so this is from the main choice and it's growth oil This one I really love too. This has got multivitamin scalp nourishing and it's for all hair types. And I like to also put this in. It's got a little, like you can just take it to your scalp and squeeze and get it around like that. And then take your fingers, put it back in the bag real quick. Take your fingers and just massage it in and get it all over. So now that I have to do that, and it smells like um, like orange, like an orange peel, like that real citrusy, like orange and clove and cinnamon. That's the smell it has. I really like it. So those are my products that I like to use all the time. I do um, also like to use um, Bumble and Bumble products. They're expensive, you guys, but they're really good products. I really like them. It's just that once you get them and you get over that um, sticker price, you're like, okay, it's worth it. But, you know, 
some of this other stuff too, like this Camille, this one, this rose one, this was also expensive. So you just got to get over the sticker shock. And once you start using it and you like it in your hair, then it won't be such a shock to you every time to buy it. I mean, you might be like, yeah, that's super expensive every time, but it's worth it for your hair to get the curls the way you like them and to keep them nourished. So yeah, so thanks for coming to my channel. And I will talk to you guys later. And Piper says, I will talk to you later, you guys. If this is the first time you've come to my channel, please like and subscribe. So if there's anything particular you want to see, let me know. And I'd like to have you come over to my channel and be a part of my family. Thanks again, you guys. Bye-bye.